I've been wanting to buy the Apple Watch for what it seems like to be forever. And to be very exact, I think it has been almost two years because that's when I saw like everyone in school have one. I don't know, it was kind of a trend back then because everyone had one, I wanted it um, but I'm really glad I waited and I actually like thought about if I needed it or not I've just been thinking about it for like two years and I really feel like I could benefit from one right now so after contemplating for a while, I decided to get one I'm I know the Series 5 just came out, which is like over $300, I think. But I'm gonna go for the Series 3, which is a lot cheaper. I think it is selling for $189 right now. This week's video, I was actually going to film a different video, but I'm going to just film a week-long vlog featuring my new Apple Watch and see if I like it or not. And then I'll do a little update at the end of the vlog also there's that like huge white fabric in the back i want to hang that up on that wall and use it as like a backdrop but i don't it's so big that i don't think it's gonna work but yeah that's what that's for if you were wondering oh i smell food Literally the bowl that every Korean family has. My dream is to, um, once I move out, to get myself a set of plates that are not those. Having rice with sundubuchige, which is like my favorite kind of soup. Not a huge fan of like Korean soups, but this one I love. And I'm also having some kimchi. I just got an email that I can go pick it up. That was really quick. Let's go! Oh my gosh, I have it right now. I'm gonna do a little unboxing here, even though there's someone right in front of me. Yesterday, I did a little question and answer thing on Instagram. I asked you guys if you guys thought Apple Watch was worth it. And a lot of people said it's like a flex item, like it looks, it looks cool on your wrist. A lot of people just wear it to flex rather than to use it like functionally as a watch and a fitness watch. But I don't really think that they look cute. I just don't think that they look that cute. So I was debating which color to get, and I got the space gray and black one. I actually opened it because I just wanted to see in the car, but I haven't started to like play with it yet. This is my first time touching and like actually holding an Apple Watch. I've just played with it only in Apple stores. So it's gonna take me a while to learn how to use this thing. Okay, my hands are like shaking. I got the space gray with the black sports strap. Okay, have it on. Oh, it's on. I feel like my reactions aren't as big because I'm just so tired right now, but... I finally got one after two years. Today is just going to be me learning how to use this because I have no idea. Why am I so tired? <sighs> if you guys didn't notice, I moved one of my desk into this room because I wanted to separate like my bedroom and like my editing work study room so I have this space to edit film and do my schoolwork and I so far I've been really liking it 
the only bad thing is that I have two different desks to trash so like I need to clean two different areas somehow I just collect trash wherever I sit down so it's been more cleaning up for me and I'm trying to make this area cute because right now my room is way cuter and I just want to stay in my room because it's cuter there but I really like having separate spaces right now I'm testing out like the camera feature and how you can control the camera on the Apple Watch and it is so cool My watch told me to stand up and move around for a minute, so doing that. I want to show you guys this neon sign that I got. I got it at Target. I got it for like $12 and I'm so in love with it. I also kind of rearranged like this part so it's more clean and organized hey siri oh my gosh all three series just went off i actually don't really move that much but when i was setting up this watch i told them that i move like moderate amount so it expects me to burn 520 calories just from moving around all day I, I don't think I burned that much throughout the day, so I don't know how to fix that. I want to talk about the features that I'm excited about on the Apple Watch and why I got the Apple Watch pretty much. And I actually like wrote it down, so let me look at that. To uh, explain why I wanted it in the first place, I wanted to track my workouts because I do work out quite often i work out like at least i've been working out at least five days a week which is a lot and i would like to be able to track all of my workouts and also track my activity levels like how many steps i take throughout the day and obviously since i don't bring around my phone every time i move this is going to be like really accurate also i want to see if having an apple watch is going to decrease my screen time on my phone um i also want to see if this makes me more productive throughout the day because i mean if my screen time decreases more likely i'm going to be more productive um obviously i bought it because i wanted to check time and use it as a watch too because when i'm at school i'm allowed to have my phone but i prefer not having it out because it distracts me and I just like to control myself where I don't look at it but I want to be able to check time and see like the notifications so this is great also I can use this to pay because Apple Pay works in the states and I'm also looking forward to use the Breathe app which um, you can set it up differently but I set it up where it reminds me to breathe twice a day and I have issues with breathing if you have watched my other videos. Hopefully this app helps me remember to breathe because I sometimes literally forget to breathe and it's kind of weird, kind of bad. I can also use this to find my phone which I feel like would come in pretty handy because I lose my phone all the time and my phone's usually on do not disturb so I I have a hard time finding it but I can make it ring yeah and I can easily find my phone so far I've also really liked how I can check my schedule like this because I always plan out my day on google calendar so it's synced up to the calendar on here and i can see what i'm supposed to be doing and like what i'm supposed to be doing in 30 minutes so i don't actually have to get on my laptop go on google calendar and see i can just look at my wrist I 
I wasn't gonna work out today, but I really want to test my Apple Watch out. So I'm gonna jump rope. I don't like cardio except jump roping. Actually, I've been kind of into running too, so I've been slowly getting into cardio, but I'm not that great at it. But yeah, I'm gonna go try it out. I'm really excited. I tried to jump rope, but the jump rope I have is just really bad. So I only jumped rope for like 10 minutes and then I walked the other like 20, 30 minutes and it was cold. So my face is red, but I really like the Apple Watch so far for tracking activities because when I walk, it tells me how much I walk, like the miles and even my speed and the calories of course so i really like the details that my apple watch is giving me even though i don't need it to work out it's nice to see to make a latte and there's this much milk left oh. I didn't get to finish my breakfast this morning because I was running late and I also didn't get to have my coffee so right now I am finishing off my scrambled eggs that I didn't get to finish and I also toasted another toast so I can eat it with the eggs if you are here for Apple Watch review, I'm just going to read off some of the pros of having an Apple Watch after using it for 24 hours. I like that I can check notifications even when my phone is charging. So I can have my phone charged and move around the house and still get notified and like check my phone without actually checking my phone. Um, this morning that came in handy because I actually forgot to charge my phone last night. So I had my phone charging and I was around doing stuff and I was still able to see my notifications. So it's great for busy mornings. Um, I also like that I can control music when my phone is far away. I can also like have my phone on my bed and have the music playing. And then when I'm on the other side of the room, I can like change the songs or even adjust the volume. And I really, really like that. It reminds me to breathe, which, you know, everyone breathes, but for my anxiety filled self this is a really good feature that reminds me to breathe um i can check my google calendar without going on my phone app i can easily check weather because my face the watch face i put the weather thing like right there so i can see the high the low the current temperature less pressure on my wrist so since i don't have to hold on to my phone all day i like that it's like using my phone but with my hands free so i can be like grocery shopping and doing things and i'll still be able to check instead of reaching for my phone and like using it with my two hands so those are my thoughts so far to be honest i really like it i've been wanting it for two years so for me i think i'm just really satisfied when we one on one looking at us because we going down you the same way if you're the same way you know i I'm about to go to my cycling class, which I'm really excited about. I'm so excited to see how much calories I actually burn in this class and my heart rate because this class is a very intense workout class. After the workout, I'm gonna go grocery shop and I have this list right here and I'm also gonna try to use Apple Pay if they have that available. So I had my first workout class with my Apple Watch. I really liked it. I think the heart rate and the calories are pretty accurate. And compared to the fitness band that I used to have, it is so different. My fitness watch used to tell me that I burned 62 calories in a cycling class. And today, let me check. 
says that I burned 360 calories in my class and total calories 418 and my range my heart rate range was 93 to 187 and my previous fitness fan used to tell me that my heart rate was at like 87 also went to the grocery store after my workout and I downloaded a app that allows me to make lists so I used that to write down my grocery list and I was able to look through them and check them off as I put stuff in my car and I thought I would do a grocery haul because I personally love watching grocery hauls on YouTube. I would literally, I used to literally look up grocery hauls because I think it's fun to watch like what other people got for the week. This is not really a week worth of groceries. I just bought things to replace some of the things that we ran out and I live with my family so I don't buy all of our groceries but if I want to eat something or if I want to make something like a salad I would buy the own I would buy my ingredients with my own money so first I got some bananas because we ate all of ours I got two of these so delicious coconut milk yogurt alternatives so they're dairy-free yogurts, and I love these. These are my favorite tomatoes. They're like different colored tomatoes. And then I got Asian sesame with ginger and soil dressing. I'm wanting to recreate the salad I had at a vegan salad restaurant, and I, I bought this, hoping that it would taste the same or similar to the dressing that I had. And then I got vegan American style cheese or dairy free cheese I got baby lima beans got tortilla strips to put in my salad and then I got beefless burger again this is for the salad that I'm trying to recreate grilled chicken breast nuggets I personally think that they're a little bit too salty, but my dad really likes them, so I bought them again. We just finished it. I actually had them before cycling with some um, air fried fries, and they were delicious, but I should have eaten before class because I almost threw up during class. Oh my gosh, and also, I got oat milk. This is my first time trying oat milk in a big thing so i'm really excited i only had oat milk in my latte before and it was only like once or twice so i don't really know what it tastes like so i'm excited that was my grocery haul i know there are a lot of like packaged frozen food but i went grocery shopping a few days ago or my dad went grocery shopping a few days ago and he filled up the fridge with some fresh food so i didn't need to buy any like vegetables and stuff like that also some of the cons for the apple watch during a workout class or during a workout in general since it tells me how many calories I'm burning and my heart rate it makes me want to look pretty frequently but I know that's like a self-control thing and I have to control that and also um, sweat really gets trapped under the watch and the wristband um, I don't think you can really avoid that but that was another thing that I noticed. I wish the greens were lettuce and not spinach. Oh yes. Nemo. Ah! Destroyed. I haven't taken a shower after my workout, so I might look a little sweaty. But it's Thursday, and I'm here to do a little update for you guys. 
I've had this Apple Watch for four days now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I'm going to go over some of the things that I noticed throughout those days. Yesterday, I didn't vlog. But I did an at-home workout. And I wanted to test how my watch would track an, like a workout that I do at home compared to like a cycling class. I basically just danced around and did some ab workouts and i think the watch did do a pretty good job at logging those and like the calories and the heart rate and then i went on a walk with my friend and i really liked how it told me again like how much i walked um so that was a workout portion i really do think that having a watch or having a fitness watch or a smart watch like this one really makes me aware of how active I am that day because it does have this activity ring that you're supposed to close. I noticed that getting notifications on my watch isn't really going to decrease my screen time because if I get a text, I'm still going to have to get on my phone to reply. I mean, I can do like yes or no, or like simple answers or use Siri to talk into it and it will send it for me. But unless I'm in a very quiet environment, like my car, I can't really reply. You might get the notifications, but most of the times you can't really do anything about them. I think that's about it for now. You have to charge this every night, like how you charge your phone. I also feel like having this drains my phone battery a bit more. Oh, and the, another cool feature is... I like connected my watch with my laptop so when my laptop is locked I usually unlock it with a password or with like my fingerprint which is pretty convenient but because I have this watch I can just place my hand on it and it will unlock which I think is really cool if you have a MacBook I'm wearing all Lululemon today. I know Lululemon is expensive, but if you're looking to invest in workout clothes, they are really nice and they also have outlets throughout the state. So like for this top, I got it on sale at the outlet and it was a really good deal. Since I can't take you guys to my spin class, I'll come home and show you guys some of the ab workouts that I've been doing. Got back from my workout, I ate dinner. Oof. I was gonna do an ab workout, but I'm not really feeling it, so I'm watching some YouTube and I'm trying to figure out this new camera gear that I got. This screw is way bigger than the hole, so it won't screw in all the way. So I mounted the camera onto my mirror. I got this so I could vlog in my car and also film like cleansing routines, skincare routines in my bathroom. <sighs> Why am I wearing a hood? Because it's comfy. Did I ask you? No. Did you see my name? No, take a look at Today I'm going to go hang out with my friends and I'm really excited because if you guys watch this whole thing, you guys probably noticed how I've been very antisocial this week and I've been very antisocial because I'm only in school for three hours and I don't get enough human interactions throughout my week. 
so I decided to hang out with my friends we're going to go to this new cafe and I'm really excited to try the place out before I leave though I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair I don't have enough time I need to leave like right now but this hair just is not it should I leave it? It doesn't look that bad today. Also, I woke up with like really thick double eyelid. Look like a different person. Also, I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I'm gonna change. Oh my god, I look so tired, I gotta go like this. We're at the grocery store because she needed milk. Yeah. And I got matcha powder. <laughs> so I went out with my friends to just hang out and talk at a cafe. I got home, made dinner. I am now about to edit some videos and finish off my day, but um, I think I touched on most of the pros and cons of the Apple Watch throughout the vlog. In conclusion though, it's definitely nice to have but not like a must. It's not really going to like change your life dramatically, at least for me. But it is nice to have and I think it does help me be more productive and more healthy using all of its features. If you've been wanting to get one, I would say to go for it. I don't know if this vlog is that entertaining. I feel like I just spent all week in my room like editing or doing stuff on my laptop. So that's like the one con of not being in school all day. I don't get to see my friends and it's kind of sad because I am an introvert so I like spending time on my own and I genuinely enjoy being alone but also when I'm alone way too much I feel too like I feel down and I'm just really bored even when I'm working and doing stuff so I think it was good for me to hang out with my friends today and I hope to hang out with them more often and I'm also really glad that I have a vlog channel where I can talk to people even when I'm alone because I don't feel alone when I'm talking to the camera thank you guys so much for watching until the end I know this vlog is going to be long if you watched it till the end you're the real one I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next vlog bye